ZBrush was made famous by animations and visual effects, but it's being used more and more for fabricated objects, especially toys. So we are seeing a new features that specialize in production of objects that need to be made with molding and casting. ZBrush can do draft analysis, which is a visualization of which parts of a model face the correct direction for being made into two-part mold. So let's see how it works. Now I have this uh, a toy over here. Now idea is that I want to create two piece mold, left side and right side. And then between those two mold, I can put any material like a silicon or something and you know, uh, tighten it up and then to bring this on. So to work on this, I you can turn on the perspective, but for right now, I will keep my perspe perspective off. Now, how to do the draft analysis? To do the draft analysis, first thing you need to do is that you have to go to transform option on the top, and then you will go here and you have the draft analysis here. Now, if I will turn on the draft analysis right now, everything will be dark. So what I need to do is that first I need to turn on my uh, poly frame shift F or I can simply click here. Okay. Uh, but at this stage, I don't want to see the line. So I will click on the line here so uncheck the line okay now i have uh, only the fill now if i will click on the draw draft analysis it will give me something like this now by default your draft analysis direction is front so if your direction is front that means it is making uh, analysis it is uh, you know creating analysis for two parts which is front and back but for this sort of a model it's not ideal to have a front and a back one because it will uh it there, there will be a lot of work to do on this one and honestly it's not quite uh of a good uh you know sides front and back so i need to change its direction not front and back okay i want it sides sideways so i will go on the side i will snap it with the shift key on the sideways then i will go to transform and i will press on set direction as soon as i will do that so whatever viewport i was on it will create a direction for that now things looks fine here but you might have some undercuts like see here i have this undercut over here i have this issue so when I will be printing this for the molding, so it might not print it correctly. So how we can fix this? To fix this, you can use smooth brush tool. Okay, this that might do uh, you know a pretty good job here. You can see that it has done a good job. Uh, let me un undo this one. Let me turn on my symmetry by pressing X and then try to do that. Oops, shift and smooth it up, and you can see that it is fixing that issue over here now uh, to go further the green color and the red color just shows you uh, different sides okay left side right side or front or back in case if you're uh, wondering and yellow is and uh, everything between that now below there is also an issue here so uh, here what I will do I will use a flat brush so I will go to uh, B, F, and A. Now, flatten brush flattens out some areas, which will also help you to, uh, you know, uh, neutralize the size. Okay, so if I will apply this one here, you can see it's quite working, and you can work with the smooth brush tool to like this on the sides, and then flatten areas that you want to flatten out, then smooth brush tool, and pretty much that you can do. Okay. So it might take a bit time to do that. Okay. So yeah, that's fine here. Okay, same thing I will do here. Flatten this area and also you can smooth out some parts with the shift smooth. So working with two different parts here, smooth like this flattened and smooth areas here. 
Now yellow, you will see yellow over here. Yellow is basically something between red and uh, green, which is not too critical. Only thing is that you should have uh, green on this side and red on the other side. Rest, I think it's fine. I think it was better before I just messed it. Okay, that's fine. And now maybe uh, you can press X on your key. Uh, I will press X on my keyboard to come out of the symmetry mode. I'm just trying to uh, lessen this yellow line over here. But that yellow part I think is not that critical. So you can see now green red without any issue i have it so if i will print this so it will create a good mold without any issue here okay so basically this is how uh, this uh, option works it's pretty simple so wherever you have seen the undercuts so i have removed it with the flattened brush tool and the smooth uh, smooth tool you can use any other tool but i prefer flattened brush or and the smooth tool so uh if you want to build back in some more volumes and see how much you can get away with uh, without causing any uh, any cut, uh, undercuts, that's so it's a probably a good try by using flat brush tool or you can use also clay brush tool. If you're losing some details, just use the clay tool here. So uh, it's definitely an art and a craft to do this uh, really well, but this will definitely give you a start. So you can visualize uh, where this is rather than having to guess. So uh, I hope you have now understood about how to, uh, you know, initialize the size for the casting. Totally depends on your correct uh, on your models also. So try to uh, print in those sides which are more easier. Front and back is not ideal for this kind of corrector. Better is left and right. So guys, if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will upload new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full uh, courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications for those which I will be uploading. I will highly appreciate if you will give a shout out to my channel on your social media account and which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you all also i am uh, i will be willing to collaborate if you have a good number of subscriber and you can help me out to get more uh, nice number or good number of subscriber too so i can collaborate with you so but it should be a niche category like suppose uh, if some of you uh, are really really good hairdresser so I cannot collaborate with you because I'm not a good hairdresser. I'm a worst hairdresser. So guys, thanks a lot for your support. And uh, please uh, continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson.